You should get to the point where anybody Everybody else will quit. And you're not gonna stop there. there! Yes, you can! Stop giving up. I'm about to play one of the most challenging ruined campaigns in history of the series. And this episode is gonna be even more special because this same game we received not from a standard player. We received that from Pulkhlin Yezwiecz, who is our close friend creator. And that's from his Jewish Mamluks campaign. Let's get into it. Also guys, you're trying to reach 90,000 subscribers this year. So remember, if you'd like to get notified about the new series or videos from this series, subscribe to the channel because I can see that only 40% of you are subscribed right now. Most importantly, we are Jewish and almost fully converted. And this is because we started with religious ideas and in 1486, free ideas is not really much. We are mm, more or less up to date with the text. So that's the biggest advantage of the safe. But let's look at the other things. We are at war with Ottomans and Tunis. They have oof, over 110,000 troops we have less than 40,000. So this is also not that bad. The problem is we have 23 force limit and 20,000 maximum power. And this is because of a one simple reason. That's our autonomy map mode. That's the most ruined part of this campaign, honestly, because our average autonomy is 75.98%. That's gonna be super tough to fix this part. And the reason for that is that we're having 4.8 crownland. So if you want to play on raw crownland, keep it over 5%. Because at war, you see that's increasing 0.275 monthly right now. Just with over 5, so one or two death clicks, it will be already 175. I will start with deving my provinces once. Uh, that costs a lot. So this is now 5. That's far better already. Next step is to take this re reform, which is giving us monthly autonomy change. Now, this is increasing still 0.125. Still terrible, but we'll be fixing that. We also have some... Monopolies, that's why our income is just 15, because we have the monopolies that we can't uh, right now cancel, but as soon as I'll be able, to, I'll be canceling those. Whew, I'm not gonna sell the titles because we need to fix the crown lands. So let's look at this. We have 12 out of 21 loans. We'll get bankrupt very soon, but I guess we're gonna fix this somehow. At least there's some army professionals to use on the war. We can't really piece them out right away, because if I go and accept the demands, they want almost half of my country, all of those and those. So we need at least to push them back a little bit to receive a better peace deal. Remember that Jewish regions is really decent. So here I've got interest per annum. That's gonna be super useful to keep more loans. I'm gonna keep this. Here there is tolerance of the true faith, where we could change it for, for example, development cost. And as I'm looking, we don't have any rebels loading, so let's just change it for the development cost because we really not have nice mana generation, we can do this. And later here, we'll be able also to take more of armies to push back our enemies. For the advisors, our ruler is strict, that's very useful, but we need advisors. Even if you're losing out of money, level 1 one advisor is gonna be very useful. So let me just try getting here someone for the army quality, while here I'm gonna go and take the trade efficiency guy as almost half of our income is trade. We don't have anything stated in Ethiopia, so why don't we just add everything here to the trade company? So maybe we'll manage to get additional merchants. Another issue is that, okay, Ottomans are coming, but I have completely no way of defending from them. See, there's no fort in our capital, while this fort on the mountains is great, but it's not blocking them from going through straight to my capital. Let me actually go and slack and recruitment and start recruiting more of the troops over the force limit. Actually, if I just uh, take a loan, 13 out of 22, and embrace the institution, I should do it already. Yes, now I can take the mill tech. Okay, those guys are going in here. We have 24 of the combat with, so I'm just gonna go there with my calf and 14,000 of infantry. So the rest of infantry will be clearly just reinforcing them. It's such a bad leaders that we are having. And yeah, we have to go and try fighting in this battle. Can we get some free war score on wing use? Three points, yeah, army quality is so bad. You start slowly reinforcing already. You start reinforcing. You go and reinforce. All of those troops that are being finished now, they might be... <laughs> See, <laughs> 
capital. That's gonna be super tough. I don't think there's any sense to fighting any over. I got 10.3 war score from killing so many of Tunisians, but look what is happening here. Uh uh. I can't defend from it, especially that like army cult is poop compared to theirs. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and ask them to offer the new tribute. So at least I'm not losing those provinces to Tunis, I'm losing all of those to the Ottomans. My the goal will be to come back from this situation and kill the Ottomans. And in my opinion, this is doable. So let's accept this peace deal. <sighs> That's really fine. Let me start with fixing the autonomy. So right now we are having 78.1 of autonomy. We go and decrease it everywhere. So many provinces of freaking 100 autonomy. That's the first step. So now our average autonomy is already on 68%. It's still super trash, you see? I can actually state this to states as they were part of my vassal, so the autonomy will be even lower. Now average autonomy in the country is 62. That's the first step, but still even in the peacetime, so it's still increasing slightly, but it's increasing. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and delete all of the calf that we are having and consolidate this stack. So we are on our first limit and in this way we've turned off army, we're still losing money because of the interest, but that's fine with 13 out of 37 nodes. So we can use this limit to rebuild the country. And what I'm gonna do, I could sell the titles, but no, I'm just gonna go and seize land. So right now the crown land is at 10%, so our autonomy is actually decreasing. Super slowly, but it's decreasing. What I'm gonna also do, because we are anyway gonna go bankrupt, and it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Look, it's 3.8 state maintenance, and if I change in all of the states, the state addict for the autonomy one, that's gonna make it even faster for the huge cost. So that costed us almost four ducats monthly. For our income, that's really a lot. But now, autonomy in the provinces is decreasing 0.1 monthly. Let me just take a new Torah aspect, which is gonna be more love armies. For the next war, we don't need for defense because there are absolutely no forts in this country. As we are hitting diplo point cap, I'm gonna go and develop my provinces a little bit, but truly. Just a little bit. I think I would just go and do with this uh, state as it has full prosperity. <laughs> just use the diplo points. It's so no worth it in these provinces. Just to not hit the points cap. And at the same time, it's too bad we don't have merchant gets loyal. At the same time, we are cruising our crown nut. So when it hits 15 and I sell the titles again in some time, I'll get it to 20, which means even faster decrease of the local autonomy. Before the next war with the Ottomans, we need to find allies. I'm gonna go and ally Akuyunlu. I will ally Aden. When Ottomans attack us next time, or before they try attacking us, they might think twice because of our allies. By the way, I just found out that we are collecting in Constantinople, which was actually not even increasing our income, it was decreasing it. Because only cancelling this merchant increased our trading from 6.9 to 7.6, and I've sent him to Ethiopia. So in the math tick, we'll see how it's gonna also help with the Ethiopian trade. 7.6 and that's 8.7. So increase our income by almost 2. But it's really small and simple change, so we are need 20 ducats now instead of... <laughs> okay, it's 14.5. Let's do this, this, that's 14.9. Why is it on death click? It's 15 of crowns we are having. I know these guys are not loyal enough. Seize land, so now we have 20 of crown land. And with this, half of the provinces is decreasing 0.225 during the peacetime. It's gonna even decrease during the wartime, 0.125. So, we can finally start taking care of that even faster. See, it's becoming better and our average autonomy is right now 56%. There go my favorite monopolies. Thing is, this one I might be able to cancel with a good mission. This one's all easy, I can cancel them right away. So, let's maybe... Just 80 ducats in one... Let's not extend any of the monopolies and this one i'm literally just gonna cancel already and cancel this so we don't have those two monopolies and actually now i can oh no we don't have the meal points taken from here and the cheaper advisors we don't have ah! let's take the cheaper advisor from the meal 
and I'll be also having goal to take uh, power points as well, but there is, it's more important to deal with our autonomy first. And then with these changes, our income is almost 23 already, we'll be increasing the production income, most importantly. Our best chance from stopping Ottomans from just destroying us completely are the team words. So I started improving relations with them, so after almost fully improving with them, I can get a royal marriage, which gets me closer to also alive and I probably just need a month to go for increasing the relations first. I'm also unlocking my second idea group and <laughs> it has to be something military if you want to try fighting with the Ottomans. So I'm just gonna go and invest into quality ideas. This is the kind of event that I like. I could get money, but that's not much. We don't need this money. Let's just go and take this cheaper advisor and prestige. With this cheaper advisor, I can get him even level 3, so later I'll change my focus to mill to start filling the ideas. Now that's another cheaper advisor, I really like what I'm seeing. And this guy I can also get to level 3, so even though we're losing tons of money right now, trust me, it's worth it. And this is third cheaper advisor. Of course I'm gonna use him, but this guy, the level 2 one, I'm gonna keep him on level 2. So right now we're generating a way better mana, I'm just afraid of this air. That's too bad that he kept him. Why you don't have the Mamluk government? Ah, I know, yes, you're Jewish. That's the reason. By the way, let's celebrate. We just hit the 200 faith power. That gave us some money and most importantly, decrease of the inflation. 6.66 inflation. Coincidence? I don't think so. We're hitting the level of local autonomy in the provinces, which is still fairly high, but this point zero three from centralization is costing us too much you know uh, it's giving us okay a uh, nice bonus but it's not enough for its cost i need to also start taking care of our money and as our following is anyway rapidly decreasing i don't really need to keep those statistics there goes the ruler he just died Ooh, hoo, hoo. one is zero four two so mana generation is even worse and one for two air. We definitely don't want to keep him. Let's get someone better. <laughs> Truth with Ottomans just ended, but that's actually good news. Because what I can do right now is to issue embargo on them and on Tunis, so my rivals. And my power projection is over 50. And once it hits 49 again, I'm gonna just go and insult Ottomans to get it higher. The new air is 235. <laughs> it's not the best I've ever seen, but I would say it's okay to keep him. So we're missing just one province to start the golden era and it's this one. Sick. Now, launch it. This will be helping us definitely to come back with everything. And I'm gonna finish my religious ideas. I'm gonna start paying for my army. I'll just don't look at this, it's just reinforcements. And you're gonna go and take down Ethiopia with the holy war castles belly that we just received. I was afraid that I'm just gonna not gonna be having enough quality to deal with them, but I just wiped 16,000 of Ethiopians. That's very good. We need to right now rush and defend our mainland. From Ethiopia, deal is important on two levels. First of all, Damoth and Kaffa, the gold mines. Second of all, some additional provinces around here to add them to the trade company, so get it to 50% trade power in this node, which. Oh, this is not in this. Uh, okay, okay. It needs to be in Ethiopia. So let's go and get these provinces instead. And that's important because we'll get additional merchant things. So let's just go and send the peace deal. I have no idea what just happened in Europe. Colonia is just started, I know, three years ago. And look that it's everywhere already spreading. Hey, I would like to get it as well, come on. It's time to do this. Sell titles, that's 800 ducats. I can cancel the monopoly on textiles. And I can go and take the one person loans. Now I have 2.2 thousand ducats that I will start using to start repaying those 3.5 percent loans very but very slowly. But thanks to this action we decreased our interest to just 10 ducats and we are earning some money. So now in Damod I'm earning 1.2 ducats from gold and in Kaffa also 1.2 which is not very satisfactory so we'll start with getting the death cost modifier here and devving it a few times on each. At least so make it, yes, we need to start getting the prosperity in those states. So we need to get rid of the devastation. I don't know what you think, guys, but in my opinion, we fixed the situation with 
autonomy already, as our average autonomy is right now 28%, and that's even if you consider all of those provinces that are inside the trade company and they are not inside the states. At the moment I was thinking that yeah we are in the good way to save this campaign etc etc Ottomans decided that that's the moment to attack us. That's not that bad because all of our allies joined so theoretically we have more armies but Timurids are busy dying to kick you so I don't truly see that working but you're gonna try our best to push them back especially that I just got an event for 10% discipline and I have it for three more years. I that's actually a good moment to use it. Let's see this battle. Oh, I'm completely destroying them. Of course, it's not gonna be easy because 20 more K of Tunisians are coming. But I think that we have it under control, especially with our allies joining. But we okay. They've lost far more troops inside this battle. I need to organize it. The current combat is 25, so ah, actually for infantry it's just about splitting it in a half and taking off artillery of itself. Oh, that's two and a half more discipline. So 117 discipline should be pretty much working. So we start getting all of my troops over there and we're gonna defend in the mountains. Let's show them the true power of the Mamluk army. Because even though I'll be outnumbered like crazy over here, we should be still winning that, still winning that, still winning that. And that's... Two wars, they've lost again, far more troops. I freaking hate those AIs, guys, look. Aden, Hormuz, more Hormuz and Timur, they all went to take care of Tunis. And Tunis single-handedly push all of them back because they can't unite their troops together. Now look, we have... 28,000 Ottoman troops going from one province to another. There will be between 19 and 21st in this province. On the 20th, the biggest stack will get into troubles. So, if I wait a day, I'll be there on the 21st to catch a few smaller stacks. Now, take a look at this 19th, 20th, 21st. They are attacking me. Good. Try wiping this 9k stack and then eventually also reinforcing this battle. But I think I should be able to win both. Come on, they'll be on the 21st. Good. Okay. And I win here without any reinforcing. The only issue is I'm already out of my mempo. I used all of it. That's very problematic, but at least we got to 10% of the war score already. You know what? I'm pissed off. <sighs> 22 out of 52 loans. Let's take a few of them. Not all because I know that I'll be able to take more. Just take 35. Now from this, I'm gonna go and spend them on the most viable buildings. And that's not going to be manufacturers, it's early game and we will not have time to wait for those manufacturers. So pretty much mainly the workshops uh, and the four slimming buildings, right? Now I'm just going to take another few loans and recruit more mercs. This is going to be independent company that we are going to use here. Tunis is going to piss us out if we give away to them those two provinces with new buildings. With 30 autonomy and they're giving me pretty much nothing. Let's just go and accept this. That's gonna free us. Oh, of course it destroyed the borders, but I'm gonna fix it with Alodia. But that is gonna free us the whole front line over here to push the Ottomans. I'm really sick of this. Oh, look how many more troops we theoretically have. Can you see those more many troops in the front line? No, because our allies are everywhere except where they should be. For example, what is this 30k doing in horror? Yeah, 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 They're doing absolutely nothing. Well, they're being useless. Okay, guys, I'm done. I'm done here. Ottomans are assaulting a fort. AI Ottomans. Why my allies, yeah, I still remember what they are doing in Tunis. Now, compared to what Ottomans AI is doing. You know what? Screw it. Just research this easel. I don't care. I'm just gonna destroy you anyway. Now the thing is, I've built all the buildings I wanted to build, so I'm gonna go bankrupt really quick after the war. So it means that right now, as I'm having... How much more money? 
5k more money to deal with the Ottomans, I'm gonna go and get more mercs to exactly do that. Okay, boys, this is gonna be super important round of the battle. So let's maybe cancel this mercs and get this mercs instead. I'm getting engaged here. First of all, I need to get there with a better leader, then I'll start slowly reinforcing it. But actually, I should just start reinforcing it. I have to start reinforcing with Empire troops, because the mercs are not really ready to do that. Yeah, I have to reinforce with these guys now as well. And that's an easy battle, without even using this mercs. Like, you can see they are bringing even more troops, but that's fine. That was 4% of the war score, we can push them back again. And right now, we are losing how much? 200 decades monthly. That's fine, that's very temporary, as they are having only 1000 defenders, I'm rushing this force back right away. Just do this, and I'm gonna shift consolidate both of the stacks every day, so I'm just gonna, you know, switch a day, shift consolidate, shift consolidate, I think these guys don't even have to shift consolidate, only the second stack, that is for this fort. that's good. We need to do a freaking blitz inside the Ottoman lands right now, to use the situation that we have this amount of the troops used. I just love how quickly we are sitting down the next and next fort. It's already 50% of the war score. I think with this fort and a few provinces more occupied, I'll be good to just get rid of these freaking Ottomans. Okay, that I think that's all that I can get out of this war. All of those provinces and war reparations from the Ottomans. Send the peace deal. 260,000 troops that I had to kill in this war. That's gonna be... 11 years of the truce. So I have 11 years to take care of the bankruptcy. What's interesting, yes, that's what I thought. I can ally Castile, so this is officially saved. We are protected by both team words and Castile. There's no chance ever that Ottomans would even try attacking this kind of an alliance. We still have three and a half thousand ducats to spend before going bankrupt, so I'm just gonna spend them on better advisors. I need stab cost to get to free stability before the bankruptcy. I will over here take the trade guy, also on level three, and here I'm gonna keep this guy on level three and start having sick and sick and sick purely this one. So now, after the math tick, I believe, we should be able to take even more of the loans. Yep, now our loan limit is even higher. So we still have time to just sit on these advisors and generate more mana. Okay guys, it's the time for the bankruptcy. Let's boost the stability to 3, as we're gonna lose free stability uh, upon bankruptcy. Then I'm gonna spend plenty of mana on reducing the inflation. And we're left with some Diplo points and some mill points. Well, for the mill points, let me actually first get leaders to the limit and then we're just gonna go and spend the rest of the power points on deving our provinces. Are we ready? We are ready. Declare the bankruptcy. Tick. Now we've got 40 of balance. It's gonna decrease because uh, this automatically gave us 10 devastation in the whole country and thus we have zero forts. Right, crucially zero forts. That's gonna hurt as hell, especially that we used to have prosperity in plenty of those provinces. Now with this, I can do a few things. First of all, sell the titles. So we've got 1000 ducats right away and I can afford at least level 1 advisors, even though they are far more expensive right now, they're gonna still be good. And let's wait for the bankruptcy and be happy to be alive. In a few days, bankruptcy is gonna end pretty much without any problems, just a couple of rebels. Why would you... They calling me to the war that was already won. That's such a waste. Oh no! Anyway, anyway, we are out of bankruptcy. That means that we can continue filling our quality ideas. Tech 10 is not very important. Plus, <laughs> I still don't have institution. And I have mana to develop it. I can also go and invest in better advisors right now, especially those that are cheaper. But anyway, <laughs> see, even spending so much on the advisors, we're having a nice mana generation and still not such a bad income and 3,000 ducats to spend. So I'm just gonna go get this mission for the construction cost and I'm gonna go and start building a couple of interesting beauties. Not that many, honestly, but that's not bad. Manufacturers, they are non interesting, so let's just focus on those couple of things 
that we need and I will leave the rest of the money for later. I'm gonna also use this couple of ducats to increase the trade centers back to level 2. I don't even sure if they were level 2 before, but I assume they were. And of course they got decreased the moment we went bankrupt. So let's just go and fix this. Are you freaking serious? Castile is asking us for manpower from favors, but we have no manpower. Why do you even ask about that? Okay guys, I think this will be enough for today. We've played definitely enough. So, what we did, we've lost plenty of lands to Ottomans and managed to get back most of them in a very hard war, expanded a little bit south, most importantly we fixed the average autonomy of the country, it was, I don't know, 75 or something like this at start, now it's 25, it's mostly because in Ethiopia we are having plenty of trade company provinces that are increasing our national average autonomy, we got a little bit back than ideas, but we are still behind, I would say. And same for the decks. We are not very bad with the decks because current one is the 10th one, but it could be better and we just need to embrace the institution. But with this mana generation, that definitely shouldn't be hard. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Saving current campaigns and would like to see more, remember to let me know by liking this video and I'm gonna see you very soon.